Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks to everybody for coming out. Uh, I was very excited doing this. I hadn't, um, hadn't worked in film, and they had a small audition for, for a small role, and uh, I, I did it on Skype with uh, Steve and Axel, and they gave me that role, and it, it's been fantastic. And that's why this was important for me, too, to come. I, I was surprised to have this playing, because I had actually thought about it. Should I take this up? Yes. Yeah. I had actually, uh, Assistance. When, when, when you were doing this, I, I was thinking about this because all the young filmmakers, and to me, even though I'm not young, it, just 10 years ago, it was like a start for me to just do that. I've, I've Take it all off. <laughs> just a mask, just a mask, please. <laughs> 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 But I've done like 25 films since, so I mean, it's a great opportunity, and I'm so glad uh, young filmmakers here and coming out. I've met a bunch of them, Sydney, and uh, it, it, it's just a great little family, and it's so much fun to, to go on. And I don't know, it was, it was funny. If, in that film, I had, I had a scene when we were in Chapo, there was like this much snow, and it was like March. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of it, we got 70 degree, as my American come out, about a yeah. 70 degree temperature for a week straight and melted all the snow. <laughs> and we're like, how are we shooting this? And the scene where, where I'm sitting there, we're talking, I'm going, oh, you can do this, take your bite. Then that was all that morning. We had to change the whole. Oh, that was all. So yeah, because it. Because of the weather. Well, well, how did we change oh, all that? Cool. And I mean, it was funny, me and Sam were leading. And um, that morning, we had come out of breakfast in Chapo, and uh, Steve's mother was cooking for us. It was just a great time. <laughs> And uh, we came out, and, and the first time me and Sam really got together about the script. Yeah. And, and so we started doing it, and it was like, boom, we're banging it off each other. We go, wow. And like, because like he didn't understand the, the context behind something. I said, well, I think it's this. He said, oh, yeah. And then the same thing with me, and we're back and forth. And we got in the car, going to the set, and we're like, yeah, this is great. And then Steve Schmitz in the back, and he goes, uh, there's been a revision, and I'm like, what? And he hands me the script, and it was totally, it was, it had parts of the, what we originally had, but it was all this to add things in, and I was like, I was so confident going in, and then I was like, bah, 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 bah. it's lucky they do so many different angles so that you can do the different takes. And, and it all comes together. Yeah, and Steve is such a good editor. You oh know, yeah, so Steve, the director of the film, who also produced, along with Axel, who played Johnny, yeah. um, they produced, and Steve edited as well. He's multi-talented. Yeah, so he, really as, a, as a director, would know what he needed for the edit later, and because he was also editing, yeah. which I'm kind of nice to do both sometimes. Yeah. Oh no, it was because he could be. It would allow him to. Uh, this glitches. Make I mean. those changes on the day. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, as you go on, filmmakers, it's so every day you don't know. Like the weather changes, changes things up, and, and you just have to go with the flow. And yeah, it was a great experience for me. I, I, I really enjoyed it. And I was so happy to have Steve and Axel bring me on. I we when we did it over Skype, they. Were, I didn't know if they liked my thing because I've been this accent. And the, but they were just laughing at me. I don't know if they're laughing with me or laughing at me. Or, but I, they ended up giving me the role of Rick. And it was, uh, I'm very excited. And it's, it's opened up so much. And, and that's why I'm so glad with these young filmmakers. I want to be here to support people. They'll be back tomorrow. I, I want to see their films. Fantastic. And Patrick, I can't wait to see the film. And, I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for coming out, though. Yes, questions. Um, I've uh, just sold a hot camp up in that area. We used motorcycles all through there until we got home. And then we used four wheelers. And then we did snow machines. And I'll tell you, I bought today the same snow machine that guy who dealt with probably 
was riding through there, and that group of the other guys know, was riding through there. That's my notice in the same year. I love those parts almost as much as the acting. <laughs> no, the acting was fantastic. That's what it's like up there. Yeah. It's really, really well done. The cinema photography was fantastic. Uh, Ron well. Richards, I think I, I hope I don't get to say Ron Richards was so good. We would, uh, we hit out the camera and he'd just come up and all of a sudden stop everything. And there's a little pot with this little, just a little piece with a little stream going by. It was just so cool. And you know, you just get down and you look at it and go, wow. And then it all comes together. These beautiful shots. Oh, yeah. I loved all the golden hour shots. I'm a big fan of those. Like, you know, people are very silhouetted and the sun's coming up and then you see the, um, the smoke smokestacks. Very northern Ontario. Yeah. Sudbury yeah. area. <laughs> and I look at it with uh, Axel, it was 667. You just know it's supposed to be 666. Oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, that's right. Is that true? Six, they skipped 666. Six, 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 so they skipped to 667. Yeah. That's a true fact? I think. Okay. Well, we think it might be a true fact. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Well, like you said, you went 665, 664, 667, they <laughs> skipped it. So what else have you going on to work on in Northern Ontario since? Oh, it's been so many. i uh, so lucky with us having films come here and to be made. And, and I, I, I got in any way I could, you know what I mean? I wanted to be on the film. I, I, uh, I was uh, doing locations just to get my face seen and just to be out there. And I, I absolutely love it. The family it becomes, and I, I really miss, I'm a hugger. And, and I mean, on I, I, I films, everybody is so warm. You know, it, it's, we're all kind of, uh, Eyeballs in a way, you know what I mean? It's uh, yeah. to, to strive after this and try to make people laugh and cry and all that is to me, it's just great. I just love doing it. The people are so so nice, like seeing stuff where she, yeah, there's a hit on the Yeah, I just mentioned now because you know, seeing stuff. She, We've worked on so many movies. Yeah. Yes. You know, I remember a role of yours in Bad Blood. Yeah. Bad Blood. Yeah. Yeah. That was. So that was very memorable. That's a huge series, and that was shot in yeah. Northern Ontario as well. Yeah. Yeah. In Sudbury, we did that. Um, I think it's, uh, what's his name? Kim Coates. Kim Coates. So it was just fantastic experience. I can't believe the luck. To really to be able to just to do this and be accepted to do it. But it's everyone's so nice. I love working with talented people, creative people. And, and like you, I mean, she brought me in to work on uh, uh, your roommate's ass squad. Just lawyer to, Jimmy. Yeah, Lawyer Jimmy. Lawyer Jimmy. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thanks. thanks. Any, more, more to come, I hope. Yes, uh, you of know. course. Of course, more to come. Yeah. Well, I can't wait tomorrow to see small films. Uh, everybody, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's just a nice experience. Anyone else have questions? <laughs> Sydney. Did you work with a director again after this? With Steve? Yeah. I've worked with him on films, but not... Um, it was funny because me, him, and Axel ended up on another film in town. Oh my God, it's in there. We start to hit me blend together. But we were all together again on another one. Axel was a grip. I was a stand in, and uh, Steve was doing editing, associate editor. Yeah. And he edited My Roommate's Nest for season two, which you were also in. So you worked with him on that too, even though you didn't see him in person. Steve edited the second season. Yeah. 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 Well, then, uh, you know what? The thing is, it's collaboration, you know? Where, you meet somebody, I wrote a topic, and one of the camera guys on that, uh, Jesse, oh, I got my he, uh, he was doing another film he wanted to do, so he flew me out to uh, Quebec City, and we did another film. Yeah, like one thing leads to another. You yeah. kind of keep working with the same people in different capacities or different roles. Yeah, you run it, and it, it becomes a family. It's a, you know, you it think it's so big, big, but it, Every film you work on, it is more. There's people that you've worked on a different film with. And yeah. It's just so much fun. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.